This trick is called Big Tokyo Tower, and it looks like this. As you can see, that trick is very similar to the trick Eiffel Tower, so you might want to check that video out and learn that trick first if you haven't already done so. And the other thing, this is a picture trick, so just like any picture trick, it's going to be easier to learn if you allow the yo-yo to just hang at the bottom of the string without spinning, then you won't feel the pressure of having to complete the trick so quickly while the yo-yo is still spinning. So to start off, what you're going to do is you're going to make a C formation with your opposite hand and just hold it out in front of you, separating your thumb and first finger. Then you're going to position your yo-yo hand so that the string is in between your opposite hand and your body. Then you're going to wrap the string around your thumb and first finger once and then twice so that your yo-yo hand is in front of the whole string formation. Once you've got it here, you're going to take your thumb from your yo-yo hand and you're going to lift up this string coming off of the yo-yo. And when you do that, make sure that you don't accidentally pull it off of the thumb of your opposite hand like this. Make sure to keep that thumb engaged in the string. Now the next thing that you want to do is you want to take your first finger of your opposite hand and you want to come down here and grab this string. Uh, but when you rotate your hand down, make sure that you intercept the string coming off of the thumb of your yo-yo hand. And that way the string formation will end up looking like this when you're about to grab the string with two strings on the bottom uh, between your thumb and your first finger and one on the top. Next you want to take your first finger of your opposite hand and you want to grab this string coming off of the yo-yo and you're going to pull it right through that loop uh, that you made between your two fingers. And when you pull it through you're going to let the rest of the string fall right off that hand. To finish the trick, you're just going to pinch the string between your yo-yo finger and your ring finger, just like you would in Eiffel Tower, and that makes the big Tokyo Tower. So let's look at that from another perspective. To start off, you want to make a C shape with your opposite hand, and then you want to position the string between your opposite hand and the rest of your body. Then you're going to wrap that string right around your opposite hand twice so that your yo-yo hand is in front. Take your thumb on your yo-yo hand and lift up the string coming directly off the yo-yo. Then take your middle finger on your opposite hand and you're going to twist it in towards you and down. And while you do that, you're going to make sure to intercept this string coming off of the thumb of your yo-yo hand. Now this will leave you in this formation where the loop of string around your thumb and your middle finger of your opposite hand, there's two strings on the bottom and one on the top. So what you want to do from here is you want to hook the string coming directly off the yo-yo with the middle finger of your opposite hand and you're going to pull it through this open area here. And when you do that, you're going to let all the rest of the string fall off of that hand. And then to complete the trick, all you're going to do is pinch the string coming off of the yo-yo with your middle finger and your ring finger on your yo-yo hand. And you uh, can pull it tight and adjust it a little bit. And that makes the Tokyo Tower. Now, as you're performing this trick, you may find that it's not always turning out exactly the way that you want, especially that top formation of the tower. So there's two tips that I can give you that'll help, but ultimately, just like any picture trick, you're going to have to find your own little tweaks to make it work every single time for you. So the first thing that you can do is we found that the tower works a lot better if you make sure that your thumb and first finger are spread apart as wide as possible when you first wrap the string around them, and you keep them spread wide open as you build the rest of the tower, and that just seems to help the formation turn out really well. Uh, the other thing that you can do is if you've made a formation and the top of it uh, isn't really turning out exactly right, which I keep making good towers, uh, then what you can do is this string coming off the same side of the uh, tower as your opposite hand, it's connected directly to the yo-yo. And so we found that if you just kind of twist that part of the string as you hold the formation in place, uh, sometimes that can center the X at the top of the tower and make it look as good as possible. Again, it's just a little tweak, just turning your wrist a little bit and focusing on that part of the string that's connected to the yo-yo. Now, every adjustment you make, it may end up making the tower a little bit smaller, so eventually you may have to abandon it and start over. Um, but if you keep those two things in mind as you work on the trick, you'll find that you'll get more and more consistent. So that is Big Tokyo Tower.